They want to wipe out every single fish you have in your fish room. Thought instead of selling them, I will try and buy some more. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be looking at some fish that I recently purchased. So let's just get straight into the video. So first off, sorry for the different video quality here. The fish that I have purchased are in these top row of tanks and they are in quarantine. So I always recommend that you quarantine your fish if you're gonna be putting them into a system like this where you run all tanks off a central sump, which is here. So I've been on my channel for a while now, you would know that all 20 tanks that you see here are connected up and are all filtered by that one sump. So when I purchase brand new fish, I need to be careful that I don't introduce diseases into my aquarium system. So these guys up here are the first fish that I purchased recently, and they are gold compressor sets. So it's a bit of a spur of the moment decision. Uh, as you know, I've got black calvus and white calvus already, but I decided to just get some gold comps just to see how we go. Now this mobile phone camera for some reason really highlights, uh, really saturates yellow. So that's an albino bristle nose right in the center of frame there. So it's not that yellow in reality. But you can see two of the gold compressor steps there. There is a third that is larger than both of those that is hiding behind the sponge filters. So I tried to give them some caves, some shells to hide in, just as a bit of shelter for them as they uh, go through their quarantine period. They're coming up to their third week now. Uh, next week will be their third week and uh, I'm going to try and keep them in here for another three weeks after that so a total of six weeks of quarantine period. I'm fairly certain they're fine um, and I might I might introduce them to the system sooner um, basically by uh, turning the ball valve on, opening it up, water will flow in via this uh, inlet here and the tank will fill up past this bulkhead and then overflow into the, bulk, in, into the bulkhead and then the water will drain down to the sump. And that's as simple as that to introduce this tank back into the system. Having this tank cut off from the rest of the system does not affect tanks on either side of this tank or underneath this tank. All tanks can be individually split off from the room as I need. So yeah, these guys have been in here for just over two weeks now. They're doing really well. They're not as skittish as the next fish I'm going to show you that I purchased. And these guys readily come out in the open and uh, feed. There's been no problems with them whatsoever. So really pleased with this purchase. Um, they're about, oh, largest ones just over an inch long. So a while yet till they grow up and mature and uh, start spawning for me, hopefully in the next year or two. Very, very patient with these fish like calvus. Compressor steps are very slow growing, so you're going to have a lot of patience with these guys. But hopefully, I can get them to color up, show their true gold color, and successfully spawn them. But anyway, let's show you guys the next lot of fish that I've purchased. It might surprise you. So, the next lot of fish I purchased are in this tank here, and you can see the sponge filter, of course. These cheapo sponge filters, their suction cups always come off. There is a fish in this uh, frame right now that um, I purchased and it is the top right corner of the tank at the back. These guys are really skittish and that's why I'm staying down here for the time being while I film. Uh, the moment I step onto my ladder, that guy, or I suspect actually that it's a female, is gonna potentially hide. So for you guys to at least see the fish in the tank, um, I'll stay down here. So it's pretty blurry as I zoom in with this uh, mobile phone but that is a black calvus. Now, if you've been following on my channel in the last month or so, I've mentioned a few times that I want to sell my black calvus. I have two black calvus in a tank over here. So my black calvus are hiding at the minute. And there's one right in the middle of the frame there, hiding. And yeah, I just thought, instead of selling them, I will try and buy some more mix the bloodlines, potentially, hopefully mix the bloodlines. And hopefully, with what I've purchased here, we'll have the opposite sex, because I believe the two that I have at the moment are the same sex, they're exactly the same size as each other. I believe they're potentially both females. If they are males, they don't have a very, very pointed dorsal fin, 
but if they are females, they're pretty large for females. So, in this tank, we've got two black calvers. And as I said, I suspect that one there is a female. You can see she is hiding in the top corner. And that is because the other fish in this aquarium, the other black calvers, is almost, almost double her size. And I suspect he is a male. His dorsal fin is very, very long. Way longer than the black calvers that I've had for over a year now. So I'm hoping I'll be able to introduce these guys after the quarantine period is over to the other two that I have in that other tank I just showed you. So it's going to be a while off before I introduce this pair to the other pair because even though the male is almost double the size of that, what I suspect is a female in the top right corner, uh, he, he is smaller than the two other calvers that I have. So I might have to introduce them in the tank with other fish in the aquarium to suppress aggression, to make sure that aggression is spread out amongst a lot more fish than just introducing these two fish into another tank. The other thing you would want to do is introduce these two fish into a tank that is, has an established uh, pair. So even though my black calvers aren't a true pair, if they were the only two fish in that tank, and then I introduced more black calvers in a tank that hasn't been uh, re-scaped or re-aquascaped, the territories are established with that pair in that tank, and introduced this pair, this pair would get belted. Uh, that, would, that goes for many types of cichlids, uh, not just calvers. Even though calvers are fairly, fairly, uh, they are a fairly peaceful cichlid, even though they look pretty menacing. I wouldn't like to introduce these guys into a tank that wasn't rescaped if there is already calvus in that aquarium. Now, you can see I've got Cyrea rock in here, a large shell and um, some slate, just, just because these guys again are in quarantine with this tank, uh, because these guys have been so skittish uh, when you compare them to the gold compressor seps. Uh, I haven't really been turning the light on this aquarium too much. Only when I'm feeding them, just so they know the food is, is in the water, and even then I don't always turn it on even when I feed them. So um, I'm just trying to let them slowly adapt to this new environment that they're in, and hopefully um, introduce them to the system soon as well. Uh, unfortunately, probably another three weeks. As you can see, I really pushed the limits with uh, one of the water changes that I did recently on this aquarium. You can see the bulkhead, the water's almost overflowing into the bulkhead here uh, but then again I'm pretty certain these guys are fine so and that they don't have any diseases but you can never be sure so again if you're running a sump system like I am here make sure you quarantine your fish don't want to wipe out every single fish you have in your fish room because that would be quite devastating so yeah there's the brand new fish in the fish room probably not what you were expecting uh, more <laughs> Calvus and compressor seps, uh, but it was a kind of a spur of the moment decision. These guys came up, they were fairly cheap, and I just jumped at the chance. So, yeah, there you go. So, there you have it, guys some brand new fish for the fish room. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment, and subscribe buttons. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks, Ace, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.